Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this session, uh, we are going to discuss about the differences between CK11 and cost run and uh, CK40 and cost run, costing run. So with the, with the help of this session, you will be going to learn about the difference between these two transactions. First of all, I, I will show you the CK11 and what exactly uh, happened in CK11 and so let me access the transaction code ck11 n so uh, here my plant is 2006 and my material would be so this is my material and here we have to give the costing variant ppc1 and then hit enter and then again hit enter so here we can see we don't have any errors if it is any error issues are there it will show the red red symbol so here i can i will show you the cost per uh, cost component so here we can see for raw material this much and production this much and uh, this overhead or overheads are uh, depends upon the percentage we have maintained in the costing sheet okay so i will be saving this one so once this this is done then we have to go for the uh, mark and release for single material we can use this ck11 and transaction code okay so let me complete the whole process now uh, we need to access the transaction code CK24 for mark and release. Okay, so now posting period physical uh, is uh, posting period is two and the physical is 2024 and my company code would be 2006. And plant also 2006. Before executing this, we need to check first uh, this one. So here 2006 is uh, in green, then go back. Okay, I will execute in the test run first. Update mark standard price. Execute. So here we can see four of no issues here. So now go back. I'll remove the test run and execute it. So it's updated now. Here we can see. So these are my materials. This is my finished product, and these three are my raw material. If you can see the future plan price would be updated in the material master. Let me access the MM03. Select views. so in the accounting 2 tab uh, sorry costing 1 costing 2 yeah here we can see in the costing 2 tab the rate price has been updated in the future so once I just now we have completed with the mark standard price now we have to complete the release when i execute the release then it will this value will be moved from future to current let's go for the releasing now i'm executing in the update run here just click on execute so here see we can see four of materials four cost estimates were updated successfully so go one step back here so here we can see the standard price has been updated so this is my finished material which we have displayed uh, now so i will show you here so let me refresh the screen So here we can see earlier it was a uh, uh, in the future price now we can see here now current price 
okay now so now we have completed one one process this ck11 n will be used for only uh, executing the single material so if we have uh, multiple materials in that case we have to use ck40 n so this transaction code we have to run so here we have to create the variant first of all costing run so i will be creating the variant click on create here costing run 3 now and we have to mention our costing variant my costing variant is ppc1 and version would be 01 and controlling area is 2007 and company code is 07 and then click on save so once we have saved we will get these many options so here we can see the our costing related details and date related and valuation valuation details here our cost sheet is a pp and pc1 and uh, valuation variant is 001 and here we can see the frequency here if we can set monthly quarterly yearly we can schedule the background job so now in the selection first of all uh, we need to select the materials or plant and on that basis then we need to select our costing related uh, cost component structure anything we can select and uh, we can do this in this step we can do the analysis and in, uh, in this step once these three steps are done then we can go for the marking and relief so we'll I will show you the step by step process now so just click on parameters here this button change parameters so here i'm just entering the seven and the material this one and if we have uh, multiple materials we can maintain here the range we, uh, range option is there for we can maintain multiple materials uh, in my case i'm maintaining only one material now here then click on the save the variant will be saved go back now system will uh, populate the execute button so then click on the execution button here then click on start immediately and click on check here and confirm then system will uh, schedule one background job see we here we can see the background job just wait for two seconds and uh, click on refresh here then here we can see uh, free of errors for materials has been executed uh, if you want we can see the log but there is no log here so i will move forward with the uh, costing and not costing now just click on here so there is no nothing to select here just save and go back and click on execute start immediately check and confirm again one more job has been scheduled here then again wait for two seconds and then click on refresh so here we can see green symbol there is no errors then we can proceed for the analysis then click on change parameters here and select the layout uh, as per our layout we can uh, will be selecting the first one so this is my layout and then click on save then go one step back here and then click on execute here so this is uh this is the prices so my finished material with this much and these three are my raw materials if the analysis is good uh, then go back one step back and click on marking so here double click if you want to execute in the test run just select the test run it's not required if you want to update in the actual run then untick the check check mark for the test run and uh, click on save then go one step back here and system has been populated the execution symbol then click on here and select start immediately and then click on check and confirm and here provide the p01 so again system has scheduled one background job then click on refresh again here so here we can see uh, here we can see the log just click on double click on log symbol 
So here we can see for material for cost estimation were updated successfully. Go back. Then finally relieving. So if you want, we can check the material. I will open the another section here. MM03 and TVS plant is 2007. Select views costing to So here we can see the future price has been updated. Now I will execute the release. So before execution, just select the patch in the parameters. I'm removing the test run and uh, saving the variant and go one step back here. Again, system has given the pop uh, execute symbol here. Then click on this symbol. Select immediately and check confirm output device. Hit enter again one more job has been scheduled by system so then wait for two seconds and then refresh it then here we can see the log just double click on the log here again we can see for material for cost estimation were updated successfully okay now go one step back here then we'll cross check with our uh, metal master so earlier it was updated when we have executed a marking then it's updated in the future now when i release it this value should be shifted to here now i will open another section mm03 okay then select views only costing to organization so here we can see prices has been moved to uh, current current tab so here in the old screen here you can see it's in future so that's all uh, so this is the process to use the ck11 and at ck40n so we have one more transaction uh, that is uh, ck44 i'm opening another section ck44 so delete costing run so what does it mean so when i open so this is done so i'm going one step back here so just a second ck40 n so when i open this screen ck40 n system is showing the previous runs the hsbc3 is my previous run so it's showing so you can delete this thing so so it will help the system to improve in, in performance level it will improve so in the bus as per the best practice we can save uh, two or three months earlier before uh, cost run, costing runs the more than three months above uh, if we can save it uh, it will impact in the system for the performance so to delete it we have to use the transaction code ck44 then click on background job here otherwise just click on uh, execute here it will delete that if costing run only no it will not delete the details of uh, values which has been price uh, prices have which has been updated in the master data it will not delete those things it will delete only uh, the parameter the va this variant and these things only okay if you want to delete then click on delete here you can see costing run hsbc3 and has been deleted so now if i refresh the screen ck40n it won't be there costing run does not exist okay so this is the whole process to execute the ck11n and ck40n and ck44 how to do the costing sheet costing run sorry uh, that's all in this section uh, thanks for watching my videos